five human parasites are about to give you a whole new set of phobias, with impacts on the human body that seem ripped straight from a horror movie. In this video, we'll briefly introduce you to five different parasites, each with ingeniously terrifying ways of sustaining themselves and fully exploiting their host's body. After hearing about them, you might think twice before your next meal, drink, or planning a vacation to tropical countries. Let's see if you're brave enough to watch until the very end as we uncover the disturbing and horrifying realities of these parasites. Good luck, and let's begin. Guinea Worm Imagine a creature so insidious that it quietly lives inside your body for up to a year, growing up to several feet long before making a grand, painful exit through your skin. This is not the plot of a horror movie, but the real-life cycle of the guinea worm, a parasite that has plagued parts of Africa. The journey of this parasite begins with a sip of water. Unbeknownst to the person drinking, the water is contaminated with tiny water fleas, which are infected with the larvae of the guinea worm. Once inside the human body, these larvae are released and begin their silent invasion. They migrate through your tissues, maturing into adult worms. For about a year, the host remains unaware of the parasitic intruders thriving within. The true horror begins when the female worm, now fully grown, prepares to lay her eggs. The host might start to feel discomfort or a tingling sensation under the skin as the worm moves closer to the surface. This is because the female worm is searching for a suitable site to emerge for releasing her larvae. Many people report it feels like there's something moving or wriggling under the skin as the worm starts to emerge, which can be both disturbing and painful. Then she creates a blister on the skin, often on the lower limbs, causing intense pain and discomfort. When the blister bursts, the worm slowly starts to emerge from the wound. The sight of a worm, several feet long, winding out of a human body, is as disturbing as it sounds. The only way to remove the worm is by a method equally disturbing. A small stick is used to gradually coil the emerging worm around it. This process can take days or even weeks. Patience is critical because breaking the worm can cause severe inflammation and worsen the infection. Infected individuals are often incapacitated for months, unable to work or even walk. There's no vaccine or medical treatment to cure guinea worm disease once the worm begins its exit. Prevention is the only cure, focusing on improving access to clean drinking water and educating communities about the dangers of drinking unfiltered water. Thanks to global health initiatives, the incidence of guinea worm disease has dramatically decreased, bringing us closer to eradicating this ancient parasite. But the battle continues, reminding us of the importance of clean water. Ascaris lumbricoides in the world of parasites, the roundworm, Ascaris lumbricoides, undertakes a journey within the human body that sounds like science fiction. This common parasite embarks on a migration so complex, it travels through major organs, causing not just discomfort, but serious health issues. Its story begins with a microscopic egg, ingested through contaminated food or water. Inside the intestines, the egg hatches releasing a larva that penetrates the intestinal wall, entering the bloodstream. This marks the start of an extraordinary migration. The larva's first stop is the liver, but it doesn't stay long. It then travels to the lungs, where it matures further. During this pulmonary phase, the host may experience coughing and wheezing, symptoms that mimic pneumonia. This stage is also a battle, as the body attempts to fend off these invaders. The journey doesn't end in the lungs. The larvae make their way up to the throat, where they're swallowed, bringing them back in the intestines, where they started. Here, they grow into adult worms, some reaching up to 14 inches in length. In this environment, they feed and reproduce, completing their life cycle. The presence of Ascaris lumbricoides in the human body is far from benign. Large numbers of worms can lead to malnutrition, as they compete with the host for food. They can cause intestinal blockage and, during their migration, damage to the liver and lungs. In children, heavy infestations can stunt growth and cause cognitive delays. Preventing Ascaris infections revolves around sanitation and hygiene, emphasizing the importance of clean water and properly cooked food. Treatment includes medications that luckily, effectively clear the worms from the body. Trichinella spiralis, a nematode parasite that might be lurking in undercooked meat. This tiny creature, invisible to the naked eye, can cause trichinosis, a disease that can turn severe if not caught early. The story of how it invades and affects the human body is nothing short of a horror tale. It all starts with consuming undercooked meat, 
especially pork, infected with trichinella larvae. Once inside, these larvae break free from their cysts due to stomach acid, mature into adults within your intestines, and mate. The female worms then produce larvae that embark on a perilous journey through your bloodstream, with their destination in muscles. There, they forcefully burrow into muscle tissue, causing inflammation, pain, and swelling. The initial invasion might go unnoticed, but as the parasites settle in, the symptoms can range from mild to horrific. Fever, muscle pains, swelling, and extreme weakness. The muscles around the eyes, and those used for breathing, can become severely affected. If the infection is heavy, it can lead to complications that are life-threatening. Here's the terrifying part. If Trichinella spiralis is not detected early, the damage can be irreversible. The larvae incised in muscle tissue, and there they can remain for years. While treatment can help alleviate symptoms and prevent further infections, the damage done by the larvae to muscle tissue can be permanent. Preventing trichinosis is all about caution. Cooking meat thoroughly, freezing pork and wild game can kill Trichinella larvae. When hunting animals or consuming meat from your own farm, it's essential to always test for Trichinella to ensure the meat is safe for consumption. Myesis and the human botfly. Imagine a fly that doesn't just buzz around your food, but chooses human skin as the perfect place to lay its eggs. This is the reality of the human botfly, a creature whose life cycle is both horrifying and intriguing. The condition it causes occurs when the larvae develop within the skin of a living host. The human botfly has a unique approach to ensuring its larvae find their way to a host. Instead of laying eggs directly on the skin, the botfly captures mosquitoes and lays its eggs on them. When the mosquito bites a human, the warmth of the skin triggers the eggs to hatch and the larvae burrow under the skin. Once under the skin, the larvae begin their gruesome journey. They create a small hole in the skin to breathe as they feed on the surrounding tissue, causing a painful pus-filled lesion. The sensation can be described as something moving under the skin, a thought as unsettling as the actual experience. The impact of having a living organism growing inside one's skin is profound. Victims often report pain, swelling, and a secondary infection that can develop around the lesion. The treatment for myiasis is as straightforward. The larvae must be removed. This is often done by applying petroleum jelly or bacon strips over the opening to cut off the larva's air supply, forcing it to emerge for air, at which point it can be pulled out. Preventing myiasis involves avoiding botfly-infested areas and protecting oneself against mosquito bites, which are the transporters of the larvae. Awareness of the botfly's life cycle is crucial for travelers to certain tropical regions where the botfly is prevalent. Dive into the waters of tropical and subtropical regions, and you might emerge with more than just a refreshing memory. Schistosomiasis, caused by the schistosoma parasites, is a disease that starts in fresh water but leads to a silent invasion of the human body, resulting in a long-term battle for health. The journey of the schistosoma parasite is as complex as it is fascinating. It begins when human waste containing schistosoma eggs enters fresh water, infecting snails. Within these snails, the eggs hatch into larvae which then emerge back into the water, ready to find a human host. Contact with contaminated water allows these larvae to penetrate human skin, entering the bloodstream. Once inside the body, the larvae travel to the liver or bladder to mature and reproduce. The adult worms can live in the blood vessels for years, laying eggs that cause inflammation and scarring in tissues and organs. This damage can lead to chronic pain, anemia, and serious complications like liver damage, kidney failure, infertility, and bladder cancer. What makes schistosomiasis particularly disturbing is its ability to cause silent suffering. Many infected people do not show symptoms for months or even years. When symptoms do appear, they can be nonspecific like abdominal pain and diarrhea, making the disease hard to diagnose and treat early. Prevention focuses on reducing exposure to contaminated water, improving sanitation, and controlling snail populations. Treatment is available, but the best strategy is prevention and early detection to avoid the severe long-term impacts of this insidious disease. Having journeyed through the chilling world of these five disturbing parasites, it's clear that the line between reality and horror can be terrifyingly thin. These creatures not only challenge our understanding of biology, but also remind us of the importance of preventive measures in our daily lives. Whether it's ensuring food safety, maintaining personal hygiene, or being cautious while traveling. 
Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to safeguarding our health against these unseen invaders. Stay safe, stay informed, and see you in our next video.